I'm Chris Kempis, professor at the Santa Fe Institute, and I would like to invite you to join us for a new course on the origins of life. How life began is one of the most challenging and interesting questions in all of science. It is hard to imagine a more exciting goal than understanding the process that led from a completely abiotic world to the enormous complexity of life that we currently see. Even at the scale of a single cell, life is amazingly complex, let alone communities of multicellular organisms. A unique challenge for this type of research, in comparison to historical biological science, is that we are trying to create a general theory from a single instance of the life that we know. Despite all of its diversity, the life that we know comes from a single common ancestor. Thus, all of the comparative techniques that we have often relied on elsewhere in biology, many of which we will review in this course, cannot be used here because we only have a single instance. The origins of life demands of us to create a general theory before we have seen the full range of possible occurrences. And this is both a fascinating and hard scientific challenge. What also makes origins of life research challenging is the need to draw on detailed knowledge from diverse fields, spanning earth sciences, chemistry, physics, and applied mathematics. The goal of this course is to review the key insights from all of these disciplines, with a particular focus on the types of features that are general and should be ingredients for any theory of life. For example, what can we say about the principles of evolution independent of being tied to a specific mechanism of genetic inheritance? Similarly, what can be said of the connection between thermodynamics and life in general? Producing a general theory of life will allow us to not only interpret the origin of the lineage that we currently see, but also understand how many other origins might have been possible, and to consider the potential competition between lineages. We can also ask what diverse forms of life might have been possible, how easy was it to form life on our planet? And in general, what are the requirements and likelihoods of forming life across a variety of planetary contexts beyond Earth? These ideas are truly at the frontier of scientific knowledge, and I invite you to participate in our course starting June 14th.